everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Anabaptist Perspectives. I'm here in Los Angeles, California with Jose and his wife, and we're going to hear a little bit of your story of how you came to know Jesus and got involved in the church, and now you pastor this church. Is that correct? Here? Yes. That's okay, correct. so this is the backyard, really, of your house, and you're you have a church that meets here every Sunday. And can you go into a little of that process of where you were before you were a Christian and how you got to? Because I, I honestly, I don't really know your story. I came from Mexico, you know, uh, Jalisco, from, yeah, Jalisco. And uh, I was living there. Uh, I already have a, I didn't know the Lord, first of all, but I already have a problem with uh, alcohol and, and some uh, violence in my house and family and things like that. So when I came here to, to U.S. in 1993, uh, for the next two years, I still struggle a lot with, with alcohol, and, and, uh, and then I started using drugs and both together, and, and my life was a disaster, you know, for those uh, two years after I came to U.S. Thanks God that He, he always has a way for us, and, and He cares so much for us, the, the, that I came to know him in 1995. Well, he already has a purpose for us, I know that. Now I understand that part. But back in 1995, I didn't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Other than that I have a tremendous problem with additions. And, mm -hmm. and, and I was living with my, my family in, in Orange County. After they tried to work with me and to, you know, to trying to help me out. They don't know the Lord. Until today, they don't know the Lord. And, and, but uh, uh, they trying to help me out in a different ways and, and, and you know, provide me different ways to, to help me out. And, but it didn't work out. They kicked me out from their house. Wow. So after living for a you know, few days, weeks on the streets and, and, and getting more deep and, 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 and um, alcohol and drugs, is when I came to know the Lord on the street. Someone just talked to me about the Lord and they invited me to, to a place. And, and honestly, what I was looking uh, at that time, a place to stay. I didn't have no place to stay. You were homeless. Yeah. Pretty much I ended in being a homeless. Wow. Yes. They invited me to this place. They offered me food and place to stay. And what, I, what else, you know, that's what I was looking for, so a place to stay. and, and and food. I was hungry. No money. I went to that place and, and I didn't know what to expect. You know, they start talking to me by the Lord and uh, God loved me and John 316 and I didn't know anything about that. It's just, okay, well, you know. Wow. Well, had you had any interaction with, in, with Christianity before this time? Or? No. Wow. No, no, I, I, no, no, not really. I didn't know that they were Christians or that they were someone that they serve the Lord, if I knew, I might say, you know what, <laughs> I'm not going that <laughs> place. To be clear in this, it was, uh, they took me to a rehab, a rehab where it was more people like me, you know, with problems, additions, and time goes by from the next few months and I start feeling better, you know, like I didn't have no need to use alcohol or drugs and, and I start doing some projects for that place and knowing more people and seeing people the way that they came to that rehab. And I said, wow, I was like that. Wow. You know, <laughs> and, and I start feeling that compassion for them and, and trying to help them out. And I start, uh, and instead of um, just going by myself, I start seeing the need and, and start kind of, you know, in my heart feeling that, that desire to serve them and to work with them and to see them change. And I, uh, stay in that house for three years. Wow. <laughs> three <Okay>. years. <laughs> so back in that time, the program that that house has was for nine months. After three months, uh, I start feeling that call from the Lord to do something else. And I start, like I said, working with new people coming in and helping and, and doing whatever I could. And that was six months, nine months. And the time came when I graduated and they give me a certificate and they say, okay, well, you already finished your nine months program, so you, you are free to go. I said, no, now I don't <laughs> want to go, I want to stay. <laughs> wow, wow. 
Okay, and then how did you meet your wife through all this process? process uh, I met mean my wife in church, and that church. Is, oh, so that's uh, a good place uh, to meet. Yes, yeah. after, yeah. I think I was already two years and a half when, when I met her in church. So by that time, I already was praying. Uh, one of the first prayers that, that I learned in, in that place is that, that if you want something, you need something, and if you uh, desire something, you, you must pray. <laughs> you must ask. Uh-huh. And, and I said, well, oh, Lord, uh, I need a wife. I want to have my family. The way that I met her was in the church, yes. This is another big question then. What happened between 1998 to now, to where you're pastoring a church here behind your house? What, what was, I mean, I'm sure a lot of things happened there, but can you kind of walk me through some of that process? Like I said in the beginning, um, I feel the call from the Lord since I was in that house in 1995, 1996. I don't see any other um, explanation why I stay in the house hmm. mm-hmm. because I didn't get no pay. <laughs> they didn't pay not even one penny <laughs> just to, to clarify. So I, I really was there because the Lord put it in my heart. Then from 1998, uh, we live in Orange County in Anaheim, California for for a mm-hmm. few years. I'm very bad and and, and, and remember exactly days. the days and years, but uh, and attending to the same church and get involved and serving as much we could and helping others there and doing whatever the church, church does, you know, preaching the gospel and evangelizing and all that. And then when I moved from Orange County to L.A. is because I was working for a company. The, the, the owner of that company asked me, I said, do you want to work with me in L.A.? I said, yes, because I'm, I'm going to open a store over there. Do you come with me? I said, yes. You and the, your whole family? I said, yes. We moved to L.A. And, and, and the time that we moved to L.A., we, uh, we were a little bit... Uh, I struggling a little bit, and, and then when we moved here, we started attending to the same church where, where I came to know the Lord. We attend to that church for maybe four years, something like that. And then we, we walk away from that church. Mm. We, we decided that, that we, we had the need to find different uh, church uh, where, where, where mm. our children you know, have better yeah, environment. Even though it was a Christian church, it's still things that we didn't agree and we didn't like. Anyways, so for uh, I think one year, my wife and I, especially my wife, she was praying and praying for a church where people really love the Lord, where, where uh, people really serve the Lord with, 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 uh, you know, with their hearts. And thanks God we found uh, Pastor uh, Ernest and family. That happens through, through his son, and my children, because they they were uh, having a kids club in the park. My children, they go to the park. They see that they were teaching and art and doing things like that, and they came back home. Oh, we met uh, Christian people in there, and they teaching this, and they teaching that, and, and I didn't. And that time, I, I, I don't really, you know, take so much attention, like, okay. If they're Christian, they must be good, but I didn't know who who they then after a few weeks, we see my neighbor here, uh, one of my best friends too, Sam. They move, and then I see Marcel and, and, and Asher helping them to move. And I said, oh, that's interesting. These are the people that was in the park, and now they're helping. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? I'm trying uh-huh. to figure uh-huh. it out. And we, we found out that it's the same people, same church, and, and that they love the Lord, and that they were doing this, serving here in L.A., and, and get my attention a little bit. And, and, and sure enough, we start going and visiting Pastor Ernest and his house, and, and everything, everything starts from there. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So, so you met them in the park, yes. and, then, and then sometime later, here they're, they're helping someone move in next door, and here it's the same people. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Do you know how long ago that would have been? That was like around, I would say... Seven to eight years. And then the church began meeting here, I guess, behind your house at some point? No, right. After that, I think after, after one year. Okay. 
A few months after that, yes. Mm -hmm. And but and now you're the pastor of this church. Uh, thanks to God, yes. Yeah. And praise the Lord that He gave That's me amazing. the privilege and the opportunity to serve Him, and mm -hmm. yeah, I'm very happy. Can you maybe? tell a little bit of how you decided this this was the church this was the people that you wanted to to join i had the same question how and, and one of the first um abc that, that we have or that we attend mm -hmm. one one young man i don't remember his name he, he he asked me the same question and i say well that's a good question one of the reasons that we can say that that i have to come to this church is because as i say before i was praying and we were praying to find a church that they love God, church that they were real, that they were really just uh, pursuing the Lord. I'm sure that we found that church. <laughs> wow. I really like uh, um, just the way that they are. Very simple, very honest, and I see a good opportunity to learn. And so maybe that was, w that was one thing then for this church that you found that you wanted to be a part of is because of that sense of community, right? Yes. That sense of bondage with your, uh, yeah. love and yeah. care. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you another big question. What would be your vision for for the city of Los Angeles, for you know, what you want to see happen in your neighborhood across the city? To plant churches and to just open houses in the whole LA and, and just plant churches. Doesn't matter how big or, or and which area, but just plant churches as mm -hmm. much we we can, and that's that's my vision at this point. That's my vision, and I I don't see myself changing that vision, because I see how um, beautiful it is to open the house and to to open the house for for whoever wants to come to church. And and is there a specific like like you talk about planting churches? Is there a specific vision you have for church planning, like a specific part of LA, um, or do you want to just keep serving here with the fellowship that you have? It's so, mu so much need in this uh, community, and not only in this community around the area, but in the whole LA, you know. And it's not because it's not churches, it's so many churches, but those churches, it is so many questions there. I don't want to really go into mm -hmm. detail, but uh, um, I really want to see more uh, churches like that one that we have here, mm -hmm. uh, churches like the trip to store that we have already and some other fellowships where we don't need really to to worry too much to to pay rent to pay bills to to mm -hmm. really uh, squish the, the 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 church members to, to you know to give more and more but churches that they can just openly start and that's why you choose to meet in homes or you know, in a back patio like this. Yes, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. I, I, that's one of the things that I, I learned mm -hmm. in this church, that it's possible. Uh-huh. Well, <laughs> before, yeah. before in my mind was that I need to see those four walls, that big building, the air uh, and the AC. <laughs> the air conditioning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if it's not that, it's kind of questionable. Yeah, Maybe no, not a church. Yeah. <laughs> the Bible is clear with this, where two or three gathering in his name, yeah, his presence yeah. is there, and he's there. So yeah. that makes me happy. Here we don't need AC, we have AC all <laughs> around. <laughs> so, yes. yeah. Thank you for sharing that, especially your vision for church. Do more, let's, let's plant more churches. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for coming and sharing your story. I yeah, really appreciate that. And yeah, let us know what you think about this video. Um, maybe leave a comment or send us an email. We release videos like this every week um, and new podcasts and, and new articles about what God is doing around the world um, and in people's lives um, like Jose and Ana. So yeah, thank you. If you enjoyed uh, this episode, come back for more and we will see you in the next video.